Hi Sagittarius, this is going to be your love message for the 21st through the 25th, the 24th or 25th of March. As always, keep in mind this is a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with everyone that watches. Things could be opposite and roles could be reversed as well. If you want to book a private reading with me that isn't general but is personal and one-on-one, -on -one, just you and me, awesome. I would love to read for you. The link to my website to schedule tarot and to check out human design analysis is down in the description below this video. If you're new, welcome to Soma Chandra Libra, but don't let the name fool you. This channel is dedicated exclusively to Libra and Sagittarius. So if you have Libra or Sag in your chart, you have come to the right place. I'll read for you here every couple of days. Hit the bell so you get a notification knowing when I read for your sign and subscribe. All right, let's get into it, Soma Chandra Sagittarius. I feel like... A conversa you're going to have a conversation with someone over the next couple of days and so little is said, yet so much is said all at the same time. I do think a lot of communication will go back and forth via like texting and maybe even a little on the down low. There's definitely quite a bit of insecurity between yourself and another person with the Seven of Swords, not being able to open up and be honest. You could be dealing with a Virgo or someone's just really searching their soul, really processing a lot. That could be you, that could be them. There is communication and messages coming in, but I also see that someone like genuinely um, kind of wants to say something to you and really put the past behind you. If there's been something in the past and, and do so face to face, what came out of my first Oracle deck is fun surrender and forgiveness release is at the bottom of the deck that someone is dreaming i'm hearing that the five of swords is here but then i also have like the page of cups and the two of cups so you may spend some time around a person and you're like i just you know like we just need to let this go some of you will spend time around another person in like a group dynamic around other people and it will be awkward if the two of you just like don't speak to each other, won't look at each other, it'll make the two of you uncomfortable, it'll make everyone else in the room or at the event uncomfortable. And it's like, let's just surrender, let's just let this go, let's forgive each other, I'm gonna release this, I'm gonna release you, let's just have fun. I'm hearing, it's, at first it's like, let's just let bygones be bygones, but just trying to let a lot go so that you can just enjoy yourselves and have fun and not feel strange around each other. They wanted me to use the Alice in Wonderland deck too. Number 11, changed in the night. You've changed quickly. 27, painting the roses red, covering up errors. Law is not justice, rules that are not fair. Do not drink the poison. Number eight is at the bottom of the deck. Do not do things that are unhealthy for you. Some of you are dealing with a Capricorn, a Scorpio, maybe a Gemini or Aries and a Libra, I'm hearing very strongly. There's lots of, lots of Pisces on the table as well. And I do have strength as well, which is Leo. Sorry, I'm a little lost for words, you guys. I haven't been feeling well. <laughs> I have a little bit of brain fog, but messages are coming through loud and clear. My mouth just is, is not 100% turned on, if you can believe that. So it's usually always turned on. I think some of you feel as though it just isn't fair the way something has turned out like you have to follow rules this person has to follow rules maybe there maybe there are rules that you've decided to follow and the two of you like can't talk or you can't be together covering up errors and you've changed some of you really feel like or someone in this scenario has just turned on a dime there's something about them that's really changed out of nowhere this may be a person that you haven't talked to or seen in a while they may look very different now they may have changed their hair they may have lost weight something's different about them i'm also hearing that someone might feel very insecure they wear a lot of makeup not that wearing a lot of makeup means you're insecure i think makeup is great actually i'm a libra i love hair and makeup and clothes but I see that someone may have drastically changed their style physically. I'm also hearing that someone just might have really changed emotionally out of nowhere. They are just trying to cover up the errors <clears throat> out of nowhere. Someone may, they, this person may have said, no, I can't forgive you. I'm not going to surrender. Maybe they're letting go of a grudge now. That might be surprising, but there's something that feels really unfair about it. 
like it is what it is. There's nothing we can do about this, but you're being reminded not to do things that you know are bad for you. So while it's nice and all that you're going to just say that two people are going to say, let's just have fun. Let's just surrender and forgive each other and release the past. It might be like an excuse for someone to put themselves in a scenario where they know they're about to do something that's bad for them. Sagittarians are, you guys are probably, I think, the most forgiving sign. You don't have time to hang on to grudges. That feels very uncomfortable to Sag. So you may just be kind of sweeping something under the rug. I can see that someone doesn't really know how to feel about you and... I think you trigger them like you annoy them in some way. The overall energy of the person coming towards you is the Queen of Swords. Now this could be you. Um, someone is very direct standing up for themselves. This feminine looks very anxious. The way someone's feeling is the moon. You're being seen as the magician, so the divine manifester. What you need to know are your advice is the page of cups and the final outcome is strength. Leo, someone really hanging in there. I want to start with the ending real quick with strength card of Leo clarifying this is the four of wands, the three of cups and the five of wands. Okay, there may be some kind of a get together or a group event. I also just heard something about like, like a field trip for your kids or like going to a park, going to a dog park. Someone's feeling like they don't 100% fit in all the time or they're not sure they want to do this. I don't feel like the Five of Wands is tension between you and someone else, but when I get the Three of Cups and the Five of Wands, it's like sometimes everybody gets along, but they still have their differences to work through. This looks like a party. I heard Super Bowl party, but the Super Bowl is long gone. It's long past. It's like this might be an outdoor event, a sporting event, being outside somewhere a kid's birthday party maybe, it's awkward, you need to stay strong in this scenario, have social graces and manners. Someone feels like they have to close their mouth here. Yeah, it's like it could be an awkward or tense situation, but someone's just trying to have strength of character that could be you or this person. I get the sense that the two of you, you know, really want to say a lot more to each other than you are. There is a conversation here, but... It's a tough one. So it's like something, someone's really triggered. So with the Queen of Swords, for some of you, you're dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Of course, they don't have to be that sign. They don't have to be an air sign. But this is a person who's very direct and makes their boundaries very clear. They're very honest. Sometimes she's a little mean. King and Queen of Swords can be have a little bit of a bite to them. I'm a Queen of Swords. I'm a Libra. So I can be kind of bitey sometimes, even when I don't mean to be. We all, I always say that because the King and Queen of Swords always look so mean, right? And the King and Queen of Wands always look so stuck up and attention seeking. That's not true. Sometimes maybe, you know, but, but clarifying this is the Three of Swords, the Tower and the Nine of Swords. I'm, someone ha might have social anxiety like big time or like really worried about this gathering or this event or this get together. Like they're stressed out. I see someone who's pessimistic, imagining worst case scenarios. They may have been through something very difficult in their life. I hear that someone kind of over functions or micromanages at times <clears throat> in order to feel a sense of control so that they don't people do that like they over function and micromanage because they're anxious. <clears throat> Excuse me. And they're really worried about something bad happening, so they just tell everybody what to do. <laughs> um, you might be very worried about what's going to happen next. Like you're already on the defensive. You might be concerned about this Queen of Swords and it's heartbreaking and it's earth shattering. I'm hearing someone talk quite a bit about past trauma and anxiety. Okay. Really worried and the way someone's feeling is the moon. So, I mean, that could be the way you feel about them. Like you're really worried about what's going to happen next. Some of you are the queen of swords and you're like, I really have to say something now. And I have to be really direct. Despite there being like a lack of emotional clarity. There's Pisces here. Both cards are Pisces. So someone could have Pisces 
in the chart. And Pisces in a social situation or in relationships really wants to transcend, really wants to get in touch with the higher self, the spiritual essence of themselves and connect other people and build bridges in this way in this very mysterious, beautiful, uh, uh, there's a mystical quality to it. But the lowest expression of Pisces is bless their hearts. I don't I have Jupiter and Pisces, and even that is a little bit of a pain in the ass, like because the shadow trait of Pisces is to live in this dreamy fantasy or illusion and struggle to be grounded in reality and get in touch with true feelings. So someone is kind of murky in their emotions. Clarifying this is the two of wands, the seven of pentacles and the high priestess. Okay. I do feel like someone is not 100% sure that you're the right fit for them, that you're the right match for them. Or they some people some of you have a person that's been very straightforward with you or you've been straightforward with them and it's like, okay, now it's time to pick a path to move forward somewhere new, somewhere else. You could be one of their choices, but they have other choices as well, another choice, looking for something with growth potential, but then they stand there and kind of linger in the past. And they may be very attached to you in some way. This person tries to energetically connect to you. They may actually be psychic. They may be very aware of what they're doing when they meditate or pray. <clears throat> I'm not hearing like a spellcaster necessarily. Um, they might also not be aware that they do this, that they just feel intuitively drawn to you. This person may think that they can feel your feelings whether they can or not, you may feel that way as well sometimes. And it's like, they're, I think they're waiting for you to clear something up for them as well. I hear that this person can be moody and emotional. They protect themselves by sometimes being bitchy. <laughs> I think a lot of us do that sometimes. Now, you're being seen as the magician, Got nothing up my sleeve, but I'm manifesting. Some of you are being very resourceful right now. You have a plan, gathering all your resources, demonstrating things to others. You're the divine orchestrator, the divine manifester. Lots of experimentation for you, lots of trial and error. You are doing something here, but clarifying this is the Page of Wands, the Five of Swords, and the Eight of Swords. Okay, and when it comes to communication and intentions, the two of you are like two ships passing in the night. Like, first of all, like there's communication and it's fun and it's silly and it's sweet with the magician and the page of wands. But then the five of swords and the eight of swords, you may have like some things about your personality that actually make that show that you have confidence and strength of character and you're not afraid to try something like you only live once. You could have an Aries in your midst as well. They sometimes can be a little competitive with you. Mm hmm. I think that you've maybe gotten on someone's nerves or they you say or do something that this person misinterprets, they get mad, they really you're either you or them are really overthinking everything. There's this need to feel well, not a need, but like someone's really triggered and angry and anxious about seeing you or talking to you. I'm also hearing that some of you Sagittarians apparently are known for putting their foot in their mouths. At least that's what Sagis tell me. Um, you might have said or done something that was fun and sweet and innocent and it just triggered or pissed someone else off. There's a distrust here and an insecurity with you. They might be jealous of you as well. Like if they see you being confident and open to trying new things, this might make you feel good about yourself, like you're trying to stand up to other people that have tried to hold you back or hold you down, but it's still a struggle. Some of you are just feeling insecure, like I am trying new things, I am trying to open up to new experiences, but and I really wanna prove it to someone else that I can do that, but it's there's still this insecurity. I'm hearing that there might be some codependent attachments between yourself and someone else, that you rub someone the wrong way, that they don't 100% trust your intentions or what it is that you manifest. And if you have to be in a group dynamic with this person, like with the let's have fun and let's just surrender and forgive, someone's very worried about how that will go. There could be a lot of communication back and forth. I'm also hearing that there's group texts and group chats that you're a part of. 
There is an invitation to something with an empress, Libra or Taurus here. Something about a child. Some of you are telling a person that you have to be very straightforward with a person. This might be a person that you really cared about, but you have to tell them that like you're married with a kid now or something like that. They're trying to manifest you. They might even be trying to manifest like a secret affair or something with you. You could know this person very well, actually. You've kept the whole thing a secret from everybody else, like your feelings for each other. You may have dated this person in the past. That's why it's like this might not be good for you. Someone is trying to change and just cover up their errors, maybe. I'm hearing someone might not want to lose you, but they want to kind of keep you in limbo in some way. Here's what you need to know. I clarified it quite a bit, the Page of Cups. I'm feeling like this is a little invitation, a vulnerability. Um, if anything bad went down between the two of you, there is a vulnerability. And initially when I clarified it, I got the Two of Cups, the Moon, and the Eight of Cups. So someone does want to talk. I feel like this is a, what you need to know, Sag, is that you and this person could have an important and very emotional conversation. It will not necessarily clear up any confusion or heavy emotions, but it could help both of you, you or them, or both of you put the past behind you. This is like, let's just put this behind us. This could also be like on an I need, and I'm sorry, I can't speak. One of those I need to let you go conversations. Like this is just too much for someone. I need to let something go here. I wanted to know what the moon was though. Because it's like you would hope that a face-to-face -face conversation would clear things up. I thought or they're leaving a Pisces. They've had to choose between you and a Pisces. But when I clarified the moon, I got four cards, the Knight of Pentacles, the King of Cups, the Star, and the Queen of Cups. I don't see those two together every day. Uh, the King and Queen of Cups, you guys could both have water in your moon. You could have a Cancer moon, Pisces moon. Perhaps you have water or Aquarius in your Mercury or Mars as well. I think that the truth is the two of you, you look back over your shoulder and for some of you, it's like you've, you'll never stop having feelings for each other. You'll never stop caring about each other. Some of you really want to heal and just let a relationship go, but some of you still hold out hope. Someone may still hold out hope, but there could be a lot of healing through this important conversation that could bring a freedom and a breath of fresh air that's necessary with the star. I feel as though with the king and queen of cups and strength, you and this person may really get it together and like handle yourselves in a very, very emotionally diplomatic way when you would have otherwise been triggered and anxious and like there's just something intense and heavy and never said or never spoken about. Someone does want to clear the air and get to this, Sag. I also think like one little conversation makes someone sort of dreamy and think there still could be hope while the other person is walking away. Either you or this person is going to say one little thing that makes the other person think there could still be hope. Now, depending on the kind of relationship this is, this could be a friend, this could be a family member, this could be an ex, this could be clearing up something between yourself and another person and putting it all behind you. The two of you still really love each other. Everything's gonna be okay. If you've been fighting, there will be an apology. But I think the root cause of the problem isn't really being cleared up. And I think, honestly, I'm hearing quite a bit of anxiety, quite a bit of maybe like trauma from the past being held on to. So you have to like, some of you, some of you get kind of closed off at times or you have to be super straightforward. I'm also hearing that you may invite an ex that you co-parent with to like one of your kids' soccer games or a party or something, and it'll be weird. Mm-hmm. 
this person may be a little bit of a wild card and a troublemaker. She doesn't really know how she feels about him or her, like your new partner or whatever. You're irritated by the fact that they're going to be there, but it, like, it is what it is. You may have to deal with the fact that the two of them still have an affection for one another. I was married to my first husband for 12 years, and we've been divorced for about 17 years. We'll always love each other. But, uh, you know, the point I'm trying to make is like that doesn't necessarily have to compete with um, a current relationship, especially if a healing conversation could really take place. Someone does want to do that. So between yourself and another person, what the person in your environment is doing is from the untold truth of the heart oracle deck. This is by Aqua Moonlight. I think you can find them on Etsy. That's where I found them. They're great. Illusions, clouded judgment, unbalanced and skewed, avoiding, blocking, escaping, pushing away, but spiritual connection, deep love, soulmates, unity and distance. Yep. Barrier, space and separation. Yeah. See, someone doesn't want to get close to you here or close to someone you're attached to, they do feel like this spiritual connection. On their end, they believe they're spiritually attached to you in some way. It could have been something hidden even from the past. But at this point, despite feeling a spiritual connection to you, this person knows that their judgment is clouded about you. They know when it comes to you, they become imbalanced and they avoid you and want distance at this time. They really do. And their tarot is the seven of pentacles, the two, of, uh, six of cups, the two of cups and temperance. There you are. Some of you are dealing with another Sagittarius. While this person does care about you, Sag, they stand here and think about you. They wish things could change between the two of you. They wish things could be different. They may have very fond memories of you. You could have known this person for a very long time. This person, if they don't think about you all the time like this, I mean, you're here, temperance, this person could be very a very daydreamy, nostalgic person. This person may rifle through a lot of stuff from their past, trying to make sense of their past. I'm hearing that for some of you, this person has gate 63 activated in their head center, in their human design. It's this point in your brain that constantly, like, bounces uh, stuff from the past off of new information that comes in to try to validate what they're seeing or experiencing or their past. They are very nostalgic. They do want to talk to you about this, create a healing, create a balance, create a peace. Or they just have like really fond memories of you that are helping them make sense of the present moment. Their pa they use their past to help them make sense of the present. They may need space right now to do that because they're, they're, their judgment's really clouded. So they just feel like they can't even with you right now. And they may tell you that. They may say, look, I know that we care about each other, King and Queen of Cups and Two of Cups. And I want to say that to you. But this person may feel like they can't be part of something here with you. They may get mad that you invited them even. Some of you like that you're demonstrating something at a party. Interesting. What you have to say, Sag, is only you. Fixated, attached, hypnotized, memories, bittersweet, dwelling and reminiscing, confused, puzzled, unsettled and unclear, but limit. Final straw, overload and breaking point. Purification, purge, healing, clean energy. I see shallow down here and dark influences. Someone could have been influenced by things that were unhealthy, not important, not good for us. Someone has been shallow. The relationship could have been deeper, but it's always just been surface level. Someone, you guys want to purify now, purge, clean, and heal, because I think this is you purifying. Like you've hit a limit. I think this, I think you trigger each other. What happened between the two of you? You could have had really serious feelings for each other at one point. And I feel like with that laws card coming out, rules that are not fair, you've had to cover things up. You've had to quickly change things. You might be playing duck and weave. You don't want everyone else around you to know, but it's like you have to follow this rule that you've set for yourself or they've set a rule for themselves because it's just not, it's like when the two of you are together, it's not necessarily that you're toxic together, but it's like it would be bad for you to be together. You have been very fixated on this person. You have both good memories and bad memories. You are trying to make sense of the past as well. Like them, like they're dealing with clouded judgment. You're very puzzled and unsettled and unclear, but it's like you can't take this anymore. You really can't. And your tarot looks like that as well. 
because your overall response to this Sag is the nine of swords. You're the nine of swords too. Like this is very stressful for you. The five of cups. It's so disappointing. You're so bummed out. And then the eight of pentacles to the eight of cups, seven of swords. I think that you guys may communicate with each other while you're at work. I think that you'll be very distracted this week at work thinking about this person or this scenario. You may work in proximity to them. This looks like you like over in the corner at a party or a social event, like sitting by yourself. It's stressful. It's disappointing, but you've really had to leave it behind. I feel like this conversation that wants to be had very much wants to be had in private. I also, I just heard right now that when the two of you communicate, you have like this secret little language or the secret little code, or you talk in, um, you have like inside jokes with one another. You communicate in a way that no one else would understand. But I feel like you're the one that's like, I really just have to let it go. I want to be able to concentrate while I'm doing things. Some of you may struggle with regret this week and really th you'll really think about each other. I'm also hearing that if you don't hear from this person or see them or run into them, one of you will be somewhere that really reminds you of the other person. This could be an anniversary of a, an important date as well. I'm going to do an extended because I kind of get the feeling that this is a person that you have to see or be around or spend time with. For some of you, this is a romantic partner that like you don't quite know how to let each other go, but someone's really triggered by you. I do, <clears throat> sorry, I'm losing my voice, you guys. I do want to see what this person wants with you. And if something could be cleared up between the two of you and why the two of you can't be together now, it's like one little conversation leads to, <clears throat> sorry, you guys, a lot of he like serious, expansive emotions underneath, but it's not really 100% being communicated on the surface. It's like, so much is said in so little, with so little words. And I want to see what's really up with that. See if maybe the two of you could end up being together. I feel like some of you do need to hear that. If you feel like you need the extended Sagittarius, the link to that will be at the top of the description below. But it's just about letting go and be spending time around someone or like, it's difficult. It's triggering. They do need space, though. They're going to avoid you because they need space. So... I want to see if there could be further reconciliation between the two of you. Okay, Sag, that's the next couple of days in love and life. Hope it resonates and hope it helps. I'm always listening to the universe for you, Sag. Take care. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time.